Hi there, welcome to Small Roads. May 2022 in uh, Denmark saw a very high rise in, in fuel prices, so we just took some of small trips this month just to make sure that uh, we get out and see something. And uh, especially this place here where we get the ice cream at Homlum, when you see them here, they are a sight to behold and they taste really, really good. When you wild camp, you sometimes get get lucky and uh, have some visitors that uh, you didn't account for, but uh, they were nice. This is a place called Gelaude on the on the tip of uh, Lemvi. Nice place, really cool. Uh, we spent uh, a whole day and the night there also. And some nice sunsets. After watching the sunset, I moved the car and uh, in the morning, my solar power was really, really happy I did that. Here we are just chilling, having a view into Lemvi. Um, look at the sun, have a few trips around the area. And those uh, yellow fields you see, and, uh, that's something we have a lot of in Denmark in spring. It's, uh, it's rapeseed and the color is just fantastic, especially when the sun shines on them. Very intense. and. Uh, Nice sight to behold. Dinner in the forest and a sleeping place by the water. That's a, that's a good day. And as usual, we pick up a lot of trash around where we stop. Apparently the same guy. But uh, look at this view. Uh, moonlight. Gas prices are nuts. We couldn't resist a, a little longer trip. This to Ishbia. It's Denmark's biggest harbor for um, for shipping for, for uh, wind farms and oil rigs. It's a lovely place, there's a lot of things to see. Espia is a good town also, a lot of vis things to visit. And especially a place we call, it's called Kaffesmiden. There's a link in the description. Really cozy, nice coffee, nice bread. All in all, just a really good place to have your breakfast. It's always windy here, so recording outside, that's just a no-go. But we found another uh, beautiful spot to spend the, the day and night. And of course we had to watch a sunset and uh, just sit and enjoy the nature. And I could get a little work done. That's, uh, that's not the worst part of being there. little trip to Berling Sø. Note the beer that is brewed in this area. We met some nice horses that uh, really wanted to talk to us. Skal vi filme det helt tæt på? Next day it was short but very expensive. We, my wife had to buy something to make some uh, some craft for Christmas presents for the grandchildren and we also found a big dairy with their own cheese shop well that's always gonna cost doing something like that and then we went a trip around uh, Skanderborg, Skanderborg Lake and met another van lifer there always nice just to meet and chat up a little bit
dinner and low night stay was in a plantation we found. Nice little place, very quiet. But we were also uh, on tour to test our uh, our little drone. What I'm trying to explain here is that it's a very cheap Chinese drone and uh, we had to test it so I put it on the ground right here. You see a lot of space to do it. And it, uh, it sat right there, just started and then uh, it went up as it should. The wind caught it and it uh, went right above my head and continued in that direction. And uh, I lost all control of it. Well, it's probably flying still. No. Actually, an hour later I found it, but I um, haven't been testing it since. On the way home, we just had to get some nice fresh strawberries and then again sleep over at Lane Lemby. And then we decided to take a trip north, all the way up to Skagen, Blokhus. There's a lot of places up there we like. And even the bikes were out, such a nice weather it was. It was windy, quite a lot actually, but the sun and the sea looks just so amazing. So we just went around and checked everything out, nice and easy, very quiet. Had some few local delicacies. found a nice little spot here to uh, to have a night stay and took a walk the next day all around in the area a little hiking route summer it felt like summer but it wasn't as you can see here made a thought it was summer summer clothes but uh, it's almost the hair is almost blowing off their head but again it's a lovely area it's very flat uh, waters out there so the wind can get a lot of waves. We actually tried to film something there, but the wind was just so hard that uh, that we couldn't, and we actually had to get a hat on and some scarf on just to just to keep warm. Next day we went on the other sides of Denmark. It's two kilometers right up there, <laughs> and found a very nice place. So I set up the computer and uh, made a tour trip around town. Really nice place, and I actually managed to go dip the toes in the water also, but uh, it's cold, <laughs> and this kind of yeah, it's actually cold. We have a lot of famous artists in Denmark from uh, from the top of Denmark in Skagen. In all the times, a lot of them came up there to paint in the summer. Just saw this big tugboat coming in, and just had to get some pictures of it. It was really fighting against the wind. But as I said, nice place, there's even a toilet there, so uh, we stayed the nights, and you can do that out of season, of course. Then, on the way home, well, we found this little spot, it's actually a playground by Hells, where we had to wait for the ferry home. So, if you like what you see here, give us a click and uh, subscribe, and we'll try to make some more of it. See you later, guys.